<laughs> oh, welcome back to Detail It. I don't know what side it's on. Anyway, so today I'm going to cover Black Rhino Speed Slick. So, pretty excited about this one. They gave me a five year, three year, and this one year. Um, personally, I mean, I like one to three year coatings. The five year was excellent, um, the shine was great. Um, but to me, because I always experiment with stuff. I don't keep anything on a car long enough to know the durability of it, so that's the truth. Uh, so one year coatings to me, this is a one year wipe on. You kind of have to let it sweat a little bit then buff it off. So you don't, the dwell time on this one's a lot less than on their traditional coatings. So I want to give a shout out to the guys at Black Rhino. Thank you for letting me review this and trusting me to do this. Um, this one right here too, for you mobile guys, I think would be the go-to product. Um, I thought I might want to be a mobile guy. Let's let's <laughs> let's come clean on that one. So um, my skill set's lacking. Um, the elements out here in the ag industry kind of get very frustrating to me. So doing a traditional coating is a little bit harder, I think, for mobile guys. Uh, so this one here, yet again, is going to be the winner as far as I'm concerned. Less time, less dwell time. And you get a one-year uh, protection and high gloss. So let's just get to it and check it out. So I prepped this panel. I washed it like four times. Used an iron remover on it. Um, what else did I use? Some Simple Green pH neutral soap. Power Clean, Optimum Power Clean. Um, and then the, sp the spray clay that uh, McGuire's makes that you can get retail. I used that one. Then I washed it again to get the residue of that off. So this panel was washed like, I don't know, 5,000 times. No, but seriously, probably five times. <laughs> and then I did a one-step polish with uh, CSI. Why CSI? Well, number one, it's effective. Number two, it's not dangerous. Number three, it's easy cleanup. It doesn't ruin my pads. There's no oils or fillers in it. And number four, on a panel, if you want to wipe that polish off, you just use basic water. So, God solvent, as I call it, and it cleans up right away. So, I'm going to do the bed of this pickup real quick. So, let's get to it. Get the angle right. And then, um, of course, like any other detailing product, guys, you're going to want to shake that bottle uh, if you buy this Speed Slick. Shake it well. Always shake your products. I don't really know why, but sometimes particles um, settle. And that's common in anything that's been made into a solution, right? It's very common for particles to settle. So always shake it good. Make sure you've got it good and agitated. Again, use their white pads, right? White terry pads. You don't need uh, super fancy pads. That's one thing with these guys I love. It seems like basic stuff, right? Let's see. Can't even really see it going on the pad. So let's see what we can get here. It goes on very easy, but I can't see it. That is the sucky thing. Huh. Oh, so awkward to not be able to see it go on. So I'm going to assume that's on. Let's get a different camera angle. See if you guys can see it go on, because I cannot. Remove the old gators and see. Man. <laughs> what are you guys seeing? I can't see anything. <laughs> Just gonna have to trust that it is going on, right? Let's keep moving. Three sprays. Just do overlapping um, passes. Because right now I can't see this for nothing. I actually hate that I can't see it. I'd say make sure. It kind of irritates me actually. It's not their fault, but you can't really see the coating going on. probably too many so I'm doing between three and five trigger pulls 
a very fine mist that comes out of their trigger. Here we go, now I can finally see some of it. Going down. There we go. Cross hatch pattern. Does look like it's got a great gloss right now with this angle. But here's the thing, white isn't a super sexy color. But when you have it clean and detailed and uh, you can get white to pop, you know you're onto something. Man, I really... <laughs> There we go. I'm seeing it now. It's all about the angle. Boys and girls, the angle. Of course you guys knew that. Man, it's going to really stink if I get this in the sun and I say, oh, there's some matte looking spots, some high gloss looking spots, some naked looking spots. All bad, all bad. But... This, this coating right here is pretty forgiving though from what I'm understanding from the Black Rhino guys. Let's see. So, man, good grief. That's really tough unless you're down low. Oh, I see a spot right here I need to hit again. I don't know if that's a bad spot. Real wet spot, an overlapping spot. You guys out there probably see some that I missed. It's one thing with these coatings too. You may want to put them on where there's some great light. That I did not do. Wow! So they said wait for the sweating. Can't really see any sweating at this moment. So let's just talk about the coating for a minute. So if you have any questions, you can reach out to Black Rhino, blackrhinoshine.com. And those guys will answer any questions that you may have. Um, from here, I mean, it looks good. Can I really tell the sheen level? Yeah, actually maybe a tad from that bed to the front door on the back of the pickup. Maybe a hair, but it's not buffed off yet. Hey, and a little pointer, guys. Don't do what I did. Don't put it on outside where you can't see if it's sweating or... You know what? This video is already like seven, eight, nine minutes. Let me move the truck. I'm gonna turn it around. Just uh, bear with me. It's gonna be boring for a minute, but hey, let's get to it. Hang on. So now that it's in the glistening sun, can we see anything there? Uh, I don't know if we can or not. Let's walk the truck and see. Take off the old shades. Man, I can't see any sweating. And I didn't turn my timer on, so I don't really know. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to have uh, just faith that it's been long enough and let's buff this off huh let's just do it see what it looks like tomorrow it really has a good gloss up in here so I'm really hoping that it's time dang it this is frustrating me when I try to do good videos and I don't have the good lighting so it's wiping off super smooth 
feels really slick, guys. holes in this game and hopefully a little bit of the shine comes through because it does look really glossy up here in person. Try not to be in your way. I really apologize for that scary view. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to bring you back here where I was looking at it. Get you about eye level. See the popping in there? I love it. That looks like really good gloss. So, hopefully guys, something shows up on this video that didn't show up here in person. Uh, and you get a little bit curious about that coating. Check out the Black Rhino guys. Here's two things with this company. Well, there's more than two, but super nice guys. They will answer any question you have. Money back guarantee. They donate to cancer patients and they will also donate and give back to one lucky winner every month. So what have you got to lose? Here's a good thing too. If you're intrigued by this and you wanna buy it, use code detail it, double, detail it, double. Pay for one speed slick, you get two. They'll send towels and applicators to as many people as they can until they run out of the supply, okay? So let's take another quick look at this Beat Slick. What it looks like, one year coating. Super easy to put on, you guys saw me do it, and I'm no pro. So, here it is, right here. Speed Slick by Black Rhino. Get over there to blackrhinoshine.com, ask questions, buy some products, Give some support guys thank you very much for watching and for supporting this guy subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram to detail it pass this video on like the video share it and let's get her done thanks guys have a great week